Hi, my name is Nat Cohan. I'm an economist who's worked on environmental policy for my whole career. We've been dumping carbon pollution into our atmosphere for decades, warming our planet and wreaking havoc on the climate. After years of doing nothing about it, we're close to passing a truly remarkable bill. It will move emissions off their rising path and onto a downward trajectory. It's an historic measure that will cut more air pollution than any law ever enacted and change the way we treat our planet once and for all. So getting a grasp on how and why it will work is a pretty good thing for everyone to understand. Here are the facts behind this historic climate bill. The facts of cap and trade. Fact number one. Imagine the yearly exhaust of 13 million Hummers. That's how much carbon pollution we'll be able to remove in the first year alone. That's 147 million tons of greenhouse gases eliminated in 2012. The cap gets increasingly tighter each year until we've cut emissions by 17% by 2020 and 83% by 2050. I really think your grandkids would appreciate that. Fact number two. The foundation of the bill is called cap and trade. Here's how it works. The cap is a national limit on global warming pollution. It's an actual law with stiff penalties that requires companies to significantly cut their global warming pollution. As cap and trade kicks in, the demand for clean energy increases. That means lots of opportunities for entrepreneurs to supply wind, solar, tidal, and other clean energy technologies, like making jet fuel from algae and roof shingles that double as solar panels. The bill also allows smart companies to profit by cutting their pollution even more than is required. The cap dramatically reduces pollution, and the cap gets tighter and tighter every year. Thousands of companies will start cutting carbon emissions. Entrepreneurs all over the country will develop new clean energy technologies. Greenhouse gases will be reduced, and the planet will finally get to take a breath. Fact number three. Ever wonder why you never hear about acid rain anymore? You can thank cap and trade laws on sulfur for helping to take acid rain out of our skies and off our news. The acid rain cap and trade program cut pollution from power plants in half. That happened three years ahead of schedule and at a fraction of the expected cost. And Europe is already using cap and trade to cut carbon emissions. An MIT study shows it's already working there. Fact number four. Just like the National Academy of Sciences has endorsed the science of global warming, cap and trade is supported by people and organizations that have been fighting for our environment for decades. Fact number five. We can't solve global warming on our own. Every major country needs to cut emissions. The reality is that unless the Senate passes this bill, other countries won't think we're serious and we won't get an effective international agreement to reduce carbon emissions. And if the U.S. doesn't act, you can be sure China and India aren't going to cut their carbon emissions either. And that means we don't solve global warming. Hey, it's Nat again, calling in from Brazil. You know, the destruction of tropical forests here and in other parts of the world causes around 15% of the world's greenhouse gas emissions. See, one of the great things that can happen with a good cap and trade system is polluting companies in the industrialized world can also fund the reduction of deforestation and burning here, as well as other worthy offset projects. So we get the double benefit of preserving essential rainforests and tackling climate change. Fact number seven. Like all major policy changes, there's no magic bullet and there's no pleasing everyone. That's why it's called politics. Remember, some of the most important laws in our nation's history, from social security to civil rights to the Clean Air Act, were all seen as imperfect at the time, but all of them ended up changing the nation profoundly. 
We need to band together and turn this bill into law now, so no future anti-environmental president can undo this progress. We're just inches from the goal line. We can't afford to squander this historic moment. The bill has passed the House and is being considered in the Senate. At the stroke of a pen, those 147 million tons of pollution will begin to disappear just in the first year. But if we fail now, this fragile moment will pass, and there's no telling which Congress, which president will be able to take up the issue again. With every passing day, the problem just gets worse and that much harder to solve. But imagine success. With every passing day, another clean energy company is launched, another step taken towards solving global warming. And all of us can breathe a little easier about our future. Oh, and one more thing. To find out more about these facts, check out our bibliography. Or go to the URL. Thanks for watching.